Jesus. Okay, guten Tag. Welcome to our session on Gutenberg. It's a short session, so be sure to join our buff immediately after the session has ended. <clears throat> my name is Per Andre, and with me I have Marco, uh, my very stable genius and colleague. We are from Frontcom, that's a digital agency from Norway. We have offices, obviously, in Norway, also Portugal, and more recently, Poland and Germany. If you want to interact with us on Twitter, use Twitter handle Drupal Gutenberg. And if you feel like multitasking, head to our demo site. Let's talk about the Drupal authoring experience. Whether your site is a marketing site, a nonprofit, e commerce, higher education, we all want a powerful editing experience for our users. We want it to be user friendly, and we want to enable our editors to build pages. Drupal is a solid CMS framework. However, the editing experience has some issues still. It's not always intuitive. It sometimes lack the true WYSIWYG experience, even using the latest and greatest tools. These days, people expect a CMS to be both highly usable, flexible, powerful, easy to learn. Now there's some serious competition going on in this area. Now, what if we could combine the technical elegance of Drupal with a unified, nice, and easy editing experience? What if Drupal's perhaps weakest spot could become the future you were most happy to demo in a sales meeting. Now, this is why we are introducing Gutenberg for Drupal. Quick background. <clears throat> Gutenberg is originally a WordPress CMS plugin. It's open source. Some like it, others don't. <laughs> Now, as reflected in these plugin, plugin readings on WordPress.org, Gutenberg means a huge change for the WordPress community. And it sure is a huge threat to the existing contrib page builders in WordPress. <laughs> Anyways, Gutenberg is going into core this fall, into WordPress core this fall. Now, what we did is that we basically stripped away the WordPress PHP and create a standalone React application. It's pure React. On top of that, we built a standard Drupal module using Gutenberg JS as a library. We just recently released an alpha version. It's installable, but not production ready. Still, let's test it. Help us out. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Perandre. So, of course, first thing to do is to download and install the Gutenberg uh, the, uh, module, the Drupal module. And then you have to add the editor to any content type. Uh, for this demo, I'll we'll add it to the basic page content type. So let's try it out. So OK, here, here we are at the content admin page. Let's add some content. OK, 
Welcome to Gutenberg Editing Experience. I know, it's empty. Wait for it. Uh, for now, we have this, uh, the node settings that uh, you usually see on the regular node edit page. Things like revision log message, uh, menu, menu settings, and so on. And then you have all this area for what it matters, the content. Let's start using uh, Gutenberg as any other editor, like a SAK editor, by just typing. Okay. Basically, what happened here is that a new paragraph block was created. You have things like uh, the normal options for the rich text edit. And then at the sidebar, you have these settings, like text settings that control the size and color settings. OK, every block has their unique uh, sidebar settings. But each block has also some common options, <coughs> like uh, hiding the settings, duplicate, insert before, after, edit HTML, remove, and this nice feature here, add to reusable blocks. This feature allows you to save any block with its current settings and content. And we use it. Let's try it. All you have to do is to give it a name. Sorry. And save. And to reuse it, you just had to find it here. Reusable with a nice preview. Oh, there. You can also change the settings on this particular uh, reusable block. Like, I will change the background color. Hit save. Bam. Replicates across all reusable blocks of that type. OK. Another cool feature on Gutenberg is that all blocks are searchable inline using the forward slash. So you just need to type forward slash. You can search. And there it is. Yeah, I really love this feature. OK. Uh, let's check out uh, other uh, Gutenberg core blocks. Um, I'll just add here. I uh, just like to use the inline search. So, for example, the cover image. Okay, just need to upload. You can also drag and drop from your local computer, from the file browser. Just write an awesome, sorry, word, awesome title. And probably this uh, cover image block will look better if we place it on top. So let's move up, up, and also set the width. There's also some cool settings here, like fixed background. What it happens, it's got a parallax effect. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, clear the blocks to show you some cool stuff. Uh, you can uh, remove th these blocks, for example. Instead of uh, just clicking remove, clicking remove, clicking remove, you can just 
backspace and there. Let me show you some uh, um, Gutenberg also comes with some uh, layout blocks and it's a Gutenberg uh, bug. <laughs> it's not ours. They're still working hard. Okay. And what I will try to add here, it will be a um, Let's try to add a YouTube video. Let's go to the end here. And to add it, I just need to paste it here. All right. And also, I can try with the Twitter or Twit. Just past. Takes a bit to parse. Ah, here it is. Cool. But what's even cooler <laughs> is that uh, the module the module is built so that uh, all Drupal 8 blocks uh, are automatically exposed to Gutenberg. So if we had a block here, you can see, oh yeah, all Drupal blocks. And even your custom blocks will be displayed on the block list. So let's add the, the required uh, powered by Drupal. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Okay. So you can imagine what you can build with the uh, views and Gutenberg working together, right? Yeah, we are very excited about this. And uh, we really believe that it, it's killer application uh, Drupal blocks needs. Your turn. Thank you. A Gutenberg to us is much more than just another module. We think of it as a platform for brand new features. We are very excited about the sharing aspect here, the community aspect and the possibilities here. We want to make it easy to share and reuse your custom blocks across pages, across projects, across companies, and even across publishing platforms. Now, Drupal has always been great at sharing back-end style code. Now, let's make it great at sharing front-end code as well. This is why we're working on a block managing system. We call it Gutenberg Cloud. It's your library of blocks online. A Gutenberg cloud is a content repository for custom Gutenberg blocks. It could be your neatly designed form, a cool call to action section, a product grid for your e-commerce site, or even a web component. Now imagine a browsing experience inside Drupal where you can discover and download blocks on the go. The UI will enable you to browse around, filter, install, enable, and you actually save them locally and make them available in the Gutenberg editor. This prevents the need to create a new Drupal module for each new block or those random block collection modules. So we avo avoid the bloat. This is not released yet. This is a proof of concept, but let's have a look, Marco. Sure. Try to be quick. <laughs> okay. So any developer can add their own blocks uh, to Gutenberg Cloud by putting code on npm 
and tag it as Gutenberg Cloud. So Gutenberg hyphen Cloud. Since the blocks are JavaScript only, they work across Drupal and WordPress alike. Yeah, this is really exciting. You can now build a uh, front end for Drupal and WordPress at the same time. Let's try. I'll just add another content. Okay, so um, let's use uh, the Gutenberg Cloud and check out a new blog uh, we submitted to NPM, uh, the Euro section. As you can see, now the Euro section uh, appears on the block list, so we can add it to the page. Blocks can be config configured uh, to come with default content and settings uh, to make it easy to build nice looking sites. And then you can just play with the with the settings for example and basically this is just a combination of uh, gutenberg core blocks like heading or a paragraph an image and a button It's really is very easy to use, and uh, yeah, you can preview, it. yeah, and it looks really nice. Now we envision a growing library online with CMS agnostic front-end blocks. They're only HTML, JavaScript, and CSS anyways. You code it once, you reuse them on multiple platforms. It's as good as it sounds, but it's launching later this year. For us, Frontcom as a Drupal shop, Gutenberg means new business. It means happier clients, especially the marketing department. It also means better and more code reuse and sharing, all thanks to open source. Now, if you like what you see, uh, please go and test it on drupalgutenberg.org. Be sure to follow our Twitter account. And most important, please come to our BOF immediately after the session. It's going on in room Titanium 204. So, Thank you so much. Hope you like it. Not sure. So any further Q&A will happen in the buff. So see you there. Thank you. <laughs>